On to race uh, number six then, and the sixth on the program is a class three. 1,600 metres here for the sixth, headed by Go Beauty Go. Run up course and distance last out behind circuit number two. Famous Warrior beaten a short head first up by Landgraat. Southern Superstar makes his Hong Kong debut. Hasn't been on the track since December 2016 when he raced in South Africa. Patriot Hero blinkers on for the first time. Wide gate, big wood, big run. Third set last start course and distance behind Landgraat. High volatility runner up last time out at a huge price. And uh, Dark Knight behind Invincible Fresh. And a, a long way behind him as well. He finished last of the 14 runners. Now, Go Beauty Go, Racing Fighter, and Bank on Red. All have been up at uh, Chung Fa with uh, Racing Fighter back most recently on the 19th. Well, High Volatility did get a, a fairly easy lead last start, ran a big race at a price, but Go Beauty Go is a noted front runner. Famous Warriors likely to race handy. Um, and then you've got horses like Bank on Red, Racing Fighter, potentially that could kick through. It doesn't look all that good for Bigwood. And Southern Superstar, who hasn't raced for such a long time, probably expected to be worse than midfield. A famous Warrior, he's second up. Uh, he had a hard run first up as well. He ran second and uh, the Bob didn't go his way uh, on that occasion. So when you see how he comes back uh, second up, uh, he's come up pretty short as well. Patriot Hero, he's going nice enough here. He's a horse who keeps um, going down the ratings and they're putting blinkers on him for the first time. Uh, he's got a wide draw, though. That's that's going to be his issue. But uh, interesting to see how he does go with those blinkers on a Patriot hero. The Yancey Monster created a great impression when he ran uh, first up. Again, I think the second up syndrome hit him, and uh, now he's third up. So yeah, I think he's be, he'll be given a. I think he'll run better than he did last time. Anyway. All right, so Matthew Chadwick from Barrier Nine. Uh, let's start off uh, with Famous Warrior getting beaten by Landgraat last time out. Big Woods uh, in third. Keen Vature and Petra Hero. Looked like he was um, going to run past him, Famous Warrior, but just couldn't. Yeah, credit to Landgraat though. Tony mm. Millard's got him going really well and he had the claim, obviously. But I think um, Famous Warrior seemingly, based on this performance, looks a little bit more focused this season. There were one or two good runs from him last season. There were a couple where he seemed to lose concentration. This was a good effort. It's a long gap back to third. I've got a huge amount of time for Bigwood. I thought his run there was terrific. Um, and he's also will follow through the season, but he, he's got 13, he'll probably get back. So I've got him in the tips, both of them, actually. I've got Bigwood clearly on top of this. I just think it was a really good run from him. Karis Teton got out of his ground and uh, he's got drawn 13, but I think Zach Purden will get him sort of just back in midfield mm. and uh, he'll be tough to beat. It was a real eye-catching run. All right. Rule V was a pretty good run last time out as well. First up, let's learn more about him with trainer Paul O'Sullivan. Paul ruled he went around as a 20 to 1 shot first up. Were you happy with the way he finished off that race? Yeah, considering it was 1,400 metres, he raced very well, and the step up to a mile will be a positive for him. Uh, he might want a little bit further before he's winning again, but uh, I'd expect him to race well again. How's he come through that run? Yeah, he's come through it fine. He's going to have three weeks between races, which is just ideal for him. And, uh, you know, I think he could figure in the, in the, in the placings anyway. Well, his wins have been over 1,800 and 2,200 metres. When you say he'll be winning perhaps over further, are they the distances that are perfect for him? I think the 1,800 is probably the best distance for him. He just struggles a little bit over further. He just doesn't switch off and race kindly. So the 1,800 should be um, ideal and there will be a few of them coming up. You've had the one win for this season so far, but fewer runners than any other trainer here in Hong Kong. Is the stable starting to get going now, do you think? Yeah, that'll change very shortly. You've got a lot of horses that are ready to race. Um, you know, you give it another two or three weeks, we should be very busy. So it's a long season. Yeah, off and running now. Now that's the O'Sullivan stable. Still a few more to have a look at before we put um, the numbers up. Go Beauty Go, runner up behind circuit number two. And uh, be back at the trials. Yep, and he's um, likely to be sort of charging forward, you think. That's what he does. He's won five out of 29. He and Regency Bobo, they're very similar horses in uh, the way they race and their uh, uh, level of ability too. Um, we saw Regency Bobo obviously already win earlier on in the season. Go Beauty Go, a little claim there for Matthew Pern, just having his second ride for the more stable. I think he'll charge forward and make his presence felt, but um, I'm going to search for others. Yeah, he's got a really good second up record and he's a big gross horse so maybe he might need the run. Alright, so he's first up, much as uh, Racing Fighter is uh, now with Dennis Yip. He is, yeah, left Michael Freeman yarn, go to, uh, to Dennis Yip. Um, I didn't uh, like what I've seen from him so far and this trial suggested just pushed on but he looks a little bit improved. 
He was beaten 248 lengths in his first start. He, he obviously improved at his next two, but I'm happy to sit back and watch him go around. Yeah, me too. Blinkers will come off him, so it'll be interesting to see how that goes. This is a really interesting horse. Southern Superstar. Craven was his name in uh, South Africa, but as I mentioned before, off the track for the best part of two years. He had group one form uh, in uh, South Africa, and he was better performed than Singapore Sling, the source. He's been off the scene for a long time, but he's come in at a really fair rating, I think, class three. I'm making him the long shot for the meeting. Got him on the bench. If there's a withdrawal, he'll go in for me. I'm just going to sit on the fence. When they haven't raced for over a year, it's always a concern. But mm. as Paul mentioned, the credentials are there in the background. All right, OK. That is Southern Superstar for Tony Millard. Uh, famous Warriors, our favourite, Paul. Yeah, got him in for third, but I'll, you can deal me out of the 2.6 for, uh, for him. Uh, Big Wood on top. Um, look, he was a really good run from him. If anything goes wrong and Southern Superstar will make him the long shot, he'll come up at, what is he, 20 to 1, or just under at the moment. Uh, famous Warrior, he's, he'll run well, but I wouldn't be taking the 2.6. And Tianti Monster, I think it will be, we'll see a better run from him and did catch the eye on his debut run this season. 11, 5, 3 and 9. I'll take the 5 each way, uh, and I'll probably throw in the 11 and the Quinella. Again, it's... Um you know, a tricky little leg for TT players. Final leg of that uh, exotic bet type. I, I think Famous Warrior went well first up. I'll give him the opportunity to back it up. He has been inconsistent in the past, but um, he did everything bar win, and there was a huge gap back to third. Big Wood's a really nice horse going forward, um, and he'll be one I follow out of the race as well. Rule the up to 1,800 metres, as Paul said, is probably better. I've thrown in Tianchi Monster. I thought he might have done a little bit more second up, but um, maybe he had the second up blue, so he's in third mm -hmm. up this time. 3, 11, 4 and 8. Yeah, big wood uh, for me as well, but I thought uh, Ho Ho Khan might be an interesting runner as well. Chad Schofield will ride him.